morning everybody this is Diane Doyle in Plant Based Dallas and I wanted to show you um, more fun to have with your Instapot. The Instapot is a great way to cook your beans and grains very fast. You don't have to worry about them um, and uh, fast and easy. So today I am going to cook a combination of black beans and purple barley. I don't know if you can see that. Timeless Foods has some wonderful purple barley that I got and I have yet to cook it so today's going to be the first day that's what it looks like purple barley and uh, according to my magnets here both barley and black beans cook anywhere from 35 to 45 minutes so I'm going to cook the black beans and the barley together for 45 minutes. So I have already rinsed these. I've rinsed them in water and now I'm going to put the black beans in the bottom of the Instapot. And I'm going to add enough water such that I have probably a 3 to 1 ratio. So you're going to add a lot more water. I never measure because I make sure that I always add enough because I am going to drain and rinse all the water from this afterwards. So if you can see here, I've got plenty of water. I'll add a little bit more so that I'm sure that I have enough water for absorption. Notice I don't, I'm not gonna put any spices or anything in this today. No salt, remember, you never wanna put salt in when you're cooking your beans and your grains because that will inhibit absorption. Sorry about that, it had sort of a... Okay, so I have this little trivet that stands I don't know, two inches tall. I'm going to put that on top of the beans because I'm going to cook two different things at the same time. Actually, I'm going to cook four different things. So I've got my black beans and my purple barley in here. And now I have rinsed two different grains. I've rinsed some rye grain and some spelt grain. And I'll keep all of my whole grains in jars with labels. And these keep almost infinitely since the, they have not been processed at all. It's the whole grain right off the field and um, nothing's been done to it. So it will last you know, practically forever. So today I'm gonna do rye and spelt. And rye and spelt both cook for 35 minutes. So I'm gonna put this on for probably 40 minutes because that's in between the time for both of these. Okay, so I've rinsed my rye and my, uh, what was the other one, spelt. And so we're gonna cook all four of these things at the same time. Okay, reminding you again in the bottom, I have my black beans and my purple barley, and then I put the trivet there, and now I'm gonna add my spelt and my rye and I'm going to add enough water into this glass bowl the glass bowl sitting on top of the trivet and I'm going to add enough water to be three to one ratio of that yeah you're okay okay and we're going to put it in the instapot very gently and then I'm going to uh, close it up remember no salt no spices in this because I want to be able to spice up my beans and grains as I use them. I might use the grains in a breakfast bowl with fruit or I might use them in a Mexican or Italian dish or Thai dish so I don't want to spice them up at all. I want everything to be plain so I can use it uh, how I want to. So you close your Instapot and you make sure that, the, um, that it's sealed and then uh, I use the manual button, so you push manual, and then, what did I say? Barley takes 45 minutes, and black beans take 35. So we're gonna go uh, in the middle of that, and we're gonna hit it for 40, 40 minutes. And when I open it up, if I don't think they're done, I'll cook it a little bit longer, it's no big deal. So you hit the manual button, manual, and then you use your plus or minus to uh, move it up. Mine says 30 right now, so I'm gonna plus it all the way up to 40. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and go 43 and uh, see how that does. So you wait to hear the three beeps. 
And then once you hear the three beeps, you know, there it is. All right, it is beginning to heat up and your pressure cooker will continue to heat up. Right now, uh, it's not locked because it hasn't built up to pressure. The lid will not lock until it's built up to pressure. So sometimes I would have forgotten to add something. I can run over here real quick, undo the, uh, undo the lid, put it in there and add something else. Okay, I'm looking at this, and yep, I've got enough water in there for both of those. So lock the lid back on, and uh, it's going to start heating up. Once it's heated up to pressure, it will automatically lock, and then your time will come on. And the time will say, in this case, 43 minutes, and uh, it will count down from there. Most Instapots, when it counts down from 43 all the way down to zero, then they will go on an automatic warming mode, which is good because if you're not there or um, if you want to use it for dinner, it's going to stay warm for you. The only bad thing about that is if you are cooking vegetables in here, especially ones that just take a finite short time like broccoli or carrots, uh, you really want to do natural release on those and as soon as the time is up you want to unseal it manually with uh, I like to use a wooden spoon because that heat coming off of there is very hot and I'll use a wooden spoon to, to undo the seal but remember for your beans and grains which is what I'm cooking in here today you want natural release you want it to go down to pressure on its own. You do not want to open this up. And let me tell you why you don't want it to open it up. With your beans and grains, when it is done, if I were to open this up and um, do manual release of the pressure, a lot of the grains and beans in there will explode due to that quick pressure drop. So you do not want to manual release. You always want to natural release. And it says that here on my net magnets uh, natural release and then I like to again drain and rinse them afterwards because I do like to put them in my jars let me get one of my jars out for you of course I don't have one right now but I do keep all my chopped veggies in jars here's the, here's the jars I've got my red onions in here but once I cook these and then I drain and rinse them, I will put them into jars so then I can just pour them into bowls and meal, quick, meal prep is really, really quickly quick. Uh, one other thing, I am making enough in here that um, I will freeze some as well. So let me take you over here to my freezer and show you. Uh, let's see. Oh, wrong way. Sorry. Still wrong way. There we go. See all those frozen? These are all beans and grains, and I've got the date and what it is on top of it. So I'll make enough extra so I can freeze it, and then I don't have to cook every day, and I can take that out. Okay. That is all we have today. Y'all have a wonderful day. And um, use that Instapot. Keep it out on your counter. Throw in a bag of potatoes or a bag of beans. It really does make this lifestyle so easy. In fact, I have two Instapots, and I'm getting ready to put something in the other one. So y'all have a great day. Stay plant strong, and uh, keep up the great work. Bye-bye.